Groovy. Hello, uh, everybody. Jim here, and um, you know, I uh, just got home from school today. And uh, while I was on the train, I was watching some uh, videos on my phone, and I noticed um, a couple of videos in the same vein from I think After In Media and Alpha Omega Sin discussing uh, the uh, Where's the Fair Use, which I guess is a, kind of a hashtag that sprung up kind of in a response to uh, something that was on Channel Awesome, um, addressing the current situation of the content claim system and the copyright strike system that's in place on YouTube and kind of uh, the disarray that it's in or apparent disarray and uh, kind of pointing out uh, the apparent lack of oversight from YouTube which um, you know before I really get started I'll say that this isn't uh, railing against YouTube um, I'm actually very understanding of the fact that it's probably uh, pretty difficult to weed through the tens of thousands, potentially a hundred thousand or more, uh, you know, claims and disputes they get probably on a daily basis. Uh, it's probably not that easy for human beings to um, take care of all of that in short order. So uh, definitely not me railing against them, but I, I will uh, reverberate. Um, what everyone else is, is kind of saying, that there needs to be some kind of change made. Um, it can't just be all willy-nilly, these uh, content claims. Actually, a little, uh, reg I'll regale you with a little uh, personal tale that I, I feel kind of really um, very well illustrates uh, the point that a lot of people are, are trying to make. Um, I review video games on my channel and as such I've received a number of uh, content ID claims and I have argued against all of them and I have won all of them because my videos clearly fall under fair use um, but typically when I argue against a claim, the maximum 30 days elapses and then the claim is lifted because there's no rebuttal from uh, whatever group put the claim on me to begin with. Except, for one instance, um, there is a video that I have here on the channel. It's a review of a game called X The Selection of Destiny for the PlayStation. Now, uh, when I put that video up, I received a content ID claim, uh, apparently because of the uh, anime sequence in the game. Um, in the video, it features uh, an anime animated sequence uh, in the game. And I'm guessing that uh, the claim came from the animation studio, I guess, that um, created the uh, intro for the game. Um, so I did what I, I normally do. I submitted my rebuttal and uh, You know stated very uh, clearly and respectfully that uh, this video was a review of this game and Throughout the video I am commenting on and critiquing the various aspects of the game and uh, I believe that you know this qualifies as fair use and this claim was made in error and uh, I sent that to him again worded very respectfully um, uh, you know, I'm definitely when they, <laughs> uh, as this content ID system goes, they can sometimes have you by the balls a little bit because they had this uh, claim on my video and whatever small bit of ad revenue it generated uh, went to them. So I, I submitted this um, argument and uh, sat and waited almost immediately. Um, they came back and elevated uh, the content ID to a full-blown copyright strike. Um, so, kind of like in retaliation, they threw a copyright strike at me. And as such, I guess um, a number of features were taken away from my channel and I was, I guess, put on kind of like a naughty list. 
and it's like a probation period of six months if you go the next six months with no more copyright claims then you're taken off of this uh, naughty boy list um, and you know of course if you get three copyright strikes your channel is just deactivated so um, I was not happy about this so that is when I again submitted an argument against it and I said the exact same uh, same thing I said initially that this video is you know qualifies as fair use this claim is in error and it needs to be taken off right away and uh, keep in mind up to this point no intervention whatsoever by anyone from YouTube the content ID leveled against me nobody from YouTube is involved um, I submit a counterclaim saying that it you know it's been done in error no one from YouTube reviews that the people who reviewed that were the people who made the claim to begin with and I guess they were the ones deciding whether or not my counterclaim was valid and um, so at no point was there ever any oversight or intervention from YouTube this copyright strike I submit my rebuttal to that and then I'm told that now the other party has 30 days to respond and uh, I guess we'll you know we'll take it from there at that point that's when YouTube legal gets involved I'm assuming um, and so the 30 days come and go there's total silence from you know whomever it was that uh, leveled the copyright strike against me and those 30 days pass and you I get a message from YouTube saying hey good news those people uh, you know decided that uh, I guess they didn't really care that much and now you got your video back oh also the video was you know um, couldn't be viewed worldwide I guess that was another consequence of that and they're like good news you got your video back and we've taken the copyright strike off of your channel and uh, all is well um, and really what that suggested to me was that all of this can go on without YouTube's knowledge or any kind of intervention uh, content ID strikes and full-blown copyright strikes all of this goes on at the whim of I guess people who <laughs> want to uh, leech off of whatever little and when I say little I mean little whatever little ad revenue you might be collecting um, and I don't really know that uh, since then YouTube has a process in place to tell the claims that are legitimate from the ones that are spurious or at least not in any kind of uh, you know um, short order um, like I, the whole process took over a month just to get the video back so um, was not not the most pleasant of experiences and it definitely uh, let me know where I stand as far as copyright and, and uh, content claims goes and again yes I echo what other people are saying um, YouTube needs to, uh, you know, much more uh, vehemently uh, defend fair use and definitely be uh, much more uh, vigilant when it comes to uh, these kinds of uh, fraudulent or uh, errant uh, claims against people. Anyway, um, that's my two cents on the whole where's the fair use thing. Not typically the kind of thing I do. But uh, it is, you know, it's applicable to me. It affects me. It affects anyone who creates YouTube content, whether you've got a million subscribers or you've got, I don't know, 20. Um, yes, this can be something that affects you uh, for certain. So it is uh, uh, an important topic, or at least one uh, I thought was important enough to speak about. So anyway, uh, you know, if you guys want to let me know or make your own video response and keep spreading the word around let people know what some of your experiences with this uh, content ID system have been uh, I'm just gonna venture a guess and say that they weren't pleasant uh, but that being said everybody thanks for listening take care